One of those unique performers who not only moved across the decades in mediums, but also tight casting and billing placement. William Bendix could be cast anywhere from the sidekick to the heavy, the supporting actor to the leading role. William Bendix was born on January 14, 1906. Believed to be born in Brooklyn, he was actually born in a borough of Manhattan, New York City. Bill began his film career in 1911 at the age of five for Vitagraph Studios in a Lillian Walker film that his father was also appearing in a small role, while also working as a handyman for the studio. This film is now considered lost, and Bill would take a 31-year hiatus from the cameras. He dropped out of high school and became a bat boy for the New York Yankees during the early 20s, and claimed he saw Babe Ruth hit 100 home runs. Becoming a favorite of the great Bambino, who entrusted Bill with various errands, Bill's time on the team came to an end when he was fired, after fulfilling Babe's request for 100 hot dogs, which rendered him unable to play the day's game. He also worked as a singing waiter. Marrying Teresa Stefanati in 1927, his father-in-law helped him land a job managing a grocery store in New Jersey. When the Great Depression ravaged the business from him, he pursued an interest in the theater and joined the Federal Theater Project, which then led to work with the Theater Guild. Noticed by Hell Roach in a production of The Time of Your Life in 1939, Bill was signed to a contract and the following year ended his three-decade hiatus from the cameras with an uncredited part in They Drive by Night with George Raft and Humphrey Bogart. His second credit was one of his few starring roles in the 1942 production of Brooklyn Orchid. Followed that same year with an appearance in Woman of the Year, an Academy Award-nominated performance in Wake Island. One of his most memorable roles came that same year in the first Alan Ladd vehicle, The Glass Key, one of several movies the two would make together. In The Glass Key, Bill played a henchman with a sadistic sense of humor, who took extreme pleasure in beating up Ladd. During the filming of that scene, Bill accidentally connected a punch with Ladd, knocking him out and starting a two-decade friendship. With a string of classics behind his name, like Who Done It with Abbott Costello, the Blue Dahlia and Two Years Before the Mast, both with Alan Ladd, Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court with Bing Crosby, and Macau with Robert Mitchum and Jane Russell, it's hard to imagine a career going any farther, especially with television giving film a run for its money in the 1950s. But Bill's career kept going strong as his most famous role of Chester A. Riley on radio's The Life of Riley transitioned to the new medium TV. Although originally unable to take the role on television due to a pre-existing contract, which led to Jackie Gleason being cast in the lead role in a one-season run, Bill was able to take on the role in 1953. This time, the television series was a hit. The show ran until 1958. In 1960, he started in a western series titled The Overland Trail. With a string of guest starring roles on shows like Wagon Train, Mr. Ed, The Dick Powell Theater, Burke's Law, and Westinghouse Desilu Playhouse, Bill's last role was as Joe the Blacksmith in Young Fury, 1964. William Bendix died on December 14, 1964, in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 58, of low bar pneumonia brought on by a stomach ailment and malnutrition. He fit definitely into any role, from comedy to drama, henchman or pale, and if you saw him, you knew he was going to turn in a good performance, although his opinion on the craft was simple. Save a buck or two and keep on acting. That's all there is to it. But he also showed us just where his career fit into his life. I've had a long, varied, pleasant, and eventful career, he said. I don't hate anybody, and I don't have any bitter thoughts. I started out without any advantages, but I've been lucky and successful, and I've had fun. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. And don't forget to come back for more on This Was Their Life.